Hello viewer, I am Margaret Chankeshi from Lokut Girls High School, Form 4. Welcome to the Science Hub and my colleagues are Esther Gabura, Eunice Anjira. Today we'll be discussing on evolution. Evolution is the gradual change in the features or characteristics of specimen from simple to complex. Now, we have special creation types of um, evolution. So, we have special creation. Now, special creation involves the action of a supreme being. It states that a supreme being called created forms the oil, forms all from formless things as we're told in special creation. We also have chemical evolution. Chemical evolution theory explains chemicals combined to form the first simple organisms. It is believed that gases, methane, nitrogen and carbon dioxide, ammonium, hydrogen, helium combined due to lightning and volcanic activities to form simple organ organic compounds such as amino acids and simple sugars. We also have organic evolution. Now, ev organic evolution is the emergence of present forms of organism gradually from the pre-existing ones, pre-existing ones, and some of which are no longer exist. Now, our friend here is going to tell us about evidence of organic evolution. Evidence of organic evolution include fossil rec records, geographical distribution of organisms, comparative embryology, comparative, comparative anatomy, and cell biology. In comparative anatomy, we have divergent evolution and covalent uh, convergent evolution. Now, divergent evolution, this is a phenomenon where one basic structural form is modified to give rise to various of different forms, such as, uh, such structures are homologous. Now, a homologous structures are similar to have the same character, same embryonic origin, but are modified to perform different functions. Now, an example can be the Pectodactyl limbs of vertebrates. Uh, to the homologous structures adopt organism to different ecological niches in given habitats called adaptive radiation. An example of shapes, an example is the shapes of beaks in birds. Now we also have convergent evolution, as I said earlier. Now this phenomenon is where the structures are from different embryonic origin, but perform different functions, but perform same functions. Now, this, those structures are called analogous structures. These structures are from different embryonic origins, but have different functions. An example is the wings of the birds and those of the insects, eyes of the human beings, and the eyes of the octopuses. Uh, we also have vestigial organs. Now, these structures have ceased to be functional. They have reduced in size. Now, these structures are the appendix of the humans, which we all know, uh, which by now have ceased, have ceased to be functional for humans. And we also have the tail in human beings. Before, at the olden Olden days, we used to have tails, but right now we do not have tails and they're no longer being used. We also have reduced wings in flightless birds. These are like ostrich, which are no longer being used. Uh, geographical contribution. It is believed that long ago, the land was a mass. A mass which later drifted apart to form current uh, continents. Uh, an example is Africa and America, before the world was one, which was known as Pangaea. Pangaea, Pangaea, yes. Now, these regions 
with similar, have similar climatic conditions and lie within the same latitudes. Have flora and fauna. And fauna that are not identical. Now this indicates that they have evolved, evolved differently. Now from the Amazon forest in South Africa has a long okay from the amazon forest of south africa has a long-tailed monkeys and panthers and jaguars with the similar with which are similar to africans that have short-tailed monkeys leopards and the cheetahs now we can see that from this they they belong to the same latitudes and have similar conditions but they are not identical as i've explained now we also have a mechanism of evolution. Here is where we find Lamarck's theory and Darwin's theory. To begin with, Lamarck's theory, so, uh, he suggested that changes in an organism over time are due to ad adaptation of the organism to its environment. Due to the law of use and disuse, parts are more often used are more adapted, while parts that are less used are less adapt uh, adapted. He also suggested that these adaptations are passed on to offsprings from their parents. And uh, he also said these new forms require certain uh, certain period of uh, their ancestral forms in the exploitation of a particular ecological inch. The weakness uh, why the Lamarck theory was not acknowledged by scientists is that the phenotypically acquired characteristics do not affect the genotype of an individual and cannot be inherited. Lamarck said that uh, phenotypes from the parents are carried on to their offsprings of which a phenotype, uh, phenotype is the resemblance or physical resemblance of an organism but the scientists say that whatever you see cannot be carried on to your child because some parents are uh, light skinned when their children uh, come out as dark skinned kids. Yeah. Now the Charles Darwin's theory observed that variations occurs by chance and that is from within the individual. Now, the, or, the organism with non-beneficial characteristics dies due to uh, out-competition and does not reach the reproductive age. That is the Charles Darwin's uh, theory simply emphasizes on the natural selection of theory. Theory now, where an organism with beneficial characteristics survives and uh, the survives. Yeah. So the struggle for existence, as members of species continue to increase, it leads to overcrowding and hence competition for the for food and other and for space. Now we, we know that organisms have to continually continuously cope with the harsh environmental conditions such as low or very high temperatures. They also have to avoid predators, predators hence the struggle for existence. Now survival for the fittest. Members of species show great variations from another. They are, the result is that some members can exploit the environment better than others. Now the offspring which have favorable characteristics survive to productive uh, survive due to productive maturity. Okay, they survive to productive maturity and reproduce. Now those with unfavorable conditions simply die young and do, they do not reach the reproductive age. It, that is simply the only um, explanation given to survival to of the fittest. Now we also have natural selection.
Now, a situation, this is a situation whereby an organism with beneficial characteristics in a population gets to survive, in a, uh, gets to survive. Now, those without beneficial characteristics simply die. Oh, so we'll go to resistance to drugs, pesticides, and antibiotics. We are told that organisms that have alleles of genes that make them resistant to chemical survival and pass the traits to their offsprings. Those which do not have genes to make them resistant to chemical life. We've come to the end of our discussion of the science hub. I've been Esther Gadora. Margaret Sangeshi. Keep it a limited way. Watch, Watch and learn. learn.